Welcome back to Excalibur's Minecraft. Today I'm going to show you what I've been doing outside. Um, there are a couple of tricks that I've learned, and I would like to share that with you. Oh, let's go upstairs and show you that one first. Close the door. Well, as you know, I've got a garden upstairs, and there was dirt laid. Well, the problem with that dirt is that you probably saw it when I walked out. It's all brown, but look at that. Got green grass. It's all because I dug, well, I placed grass brick, glass, grass block, that is, not brick, in this uh, nice little pattern up here to take up the grass that's hanging around here. I found that out today. So, as long as it's adjacent one block up and at least three blocks down, it will automatically go ahead and uh, spawn grass all the way up. And now I'm just waiting for it to go through the garden, and then I can take down the the grass scaffolding, as I like to call it. I've been busy here in the corner tower. As you can see, I've reduced it to five by five. And uh, it was a little tricky down here at first, but I think I've got it. I'm just uh, filling in some of the stone that I took up from the base of the old tower. Here we are, all done. You can see the old, the old tower size. Um, it's a lot of waste of cobble for something I really didn't use a lot of. So I decided to go ahead and. Uh, tear it down. Now the door functions the same. Uh, the only difference being that you now come inside like this and then there's stairs here. I need to fill that in with something, probably uh, more cobble. I need to get this torch from there and put it here. I also increased the height of the rooms to three blocks because I got tired of feeling claustrophobic. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and pull out the cobble I have salvaged. One block, two block, three block, four block right there. So that's the height of the new room. We're going to have to put stairs going. Ah, I did not do that. I need to wait upstairs right now. I'll just use dirt as a scaffolding material to get up. There we go. Now I'm probably going to mimic the staircase as it is. And while I'm thinking about it, let's come down here and take out this half block and put in this half slab so it's all cobble that's all I really care about uh, there we go alright now we should be able to go up and around the corner without falling we need to do the same here so it's in the one two three by one to technically right here it's like three by three and we'll break through here make sure we don't ah uh, nuts right where the door is supposed to be so we'll put that back that has to stay there Well, that one didn't. Okay, so there we go. Let's get out our scaffolding. Now what we want is we want stairs directly underneath that. So we do this. Let's move the torch while we're thinking about it. Put it right there. And then we want stairs right there. 
pretty much in that format. Let's pull out our stairs. Now instead of a stair, we put a half block there. And then we put a full block, I believe, here. Instead of that, so let's go ahead and pull out cobble instead of the half slab. So we should be able to walk right up. Alright, so that is going to be in the way. We'll figure something out. So what I want right here, well this is all too, too long anyway, so let's go ahead and pull this layer off. sure that there's a block right there. There we go. Now one, two, three, four, five. I could technically move that back, but we're not going to right now. This is actually in the wall. So that's fine. Pull out our scaffolding material. Throw it right there because we want the stairs to come up like this. Now unfortunately it comes right where the door is. If we look out here. I want to bring the door down and probably step up. That'd be fine. I have to do it from somewhere over here. Hmm. Here's the problem. So, what I'm looking at, let's go ahead and take this out. Grab that door. So, you come up, you can go over here, or you can go out. Since that's wall. All right. Let's see how difficult this is. I think that's okay. Probably a bit kludgy, but we'll see. Uh, I hate when I put blocks in the wrong place. And yes, I will patch up these holes here soon enough. Let's try a half slab. Let's see how that works there. Probably the wrong thing to use, but we'll see. No, I don't like the half slab. I like the stairs right here. How did I do this one here? So it's stair, 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 half block, full block. 
stair, stair, half block, full block, then stair. Stair, stair, half block, full block, stair. Uh, I could probably put up a half block there. Let's see if that helps get outside that doorway a little bit easier. Yeah, I can turn that way or go this way. That's awesome. Let's get that stair piece. Uh, where did it go? I probably caught it. Okay. Come up here. We're going to have a door there, so we'll need stairs there. Or a half slab, even. Pow. Let's grab the door. And then the pressure plate is right here. Okay, so I come up and I go, okay, I'll go out. I'll go out. Hey, mobs, hello, everyone. Let's increase the light here. So that means. Cobble here, 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 here. Like so, maybe. Oh, actually, since that's the wall, let's see what it looks like if we just do this. part of the old wall anyway. Can I tell you that uh yeah. zombies suck. Oh there's a spider gonna to want to be able to come up here and get me. It was fun. I was sitting here playing uh well not playing but set well actually this is playing. But there you go. A couple of monsters up on my house. There's not enough light up there. <laughs> this is fun. I was upstairs uh, working on stuff, and then the next thing I know, there's a zombie smashing on my door. That was quite humorous. I was, what the heck is going on? You know? Uh, no snowballs. I don't want to throw eggs. Yay, the grass is actually growing in there. Let's go get a bow and some arrows. Maybe we can torque them that way. Here's a used bow. I've got 25 arrows, so we have to make them count. 
let's see here. One more. Now, how does he do that? Does he go? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's um, it's another Tom Syndicate thing. So, just wanted to see what it looked like if I could make these guys dance. I could. here How rude. Take that. Definitely need more light up here. Shouldn't do it. Alrighty. So, here we are. Put more light up there. <laughs> Looks like a face, like Amityville, a horror face of some type. The tower's coming along. I need to get it set up properly so that there is an actual lip on there. Keep spiders off the top. I need to put, well, once I get the top level on here. Things will look nice. 
let's uh, empty my hand here. There we go. I went ahead and uh, look at this wonderful new carpet. And there's my bed and headboard. Extra blankets and pillows. If that's what I want to call it. And the roof here, I put in glowstone. And I extended this out. So now you can go out and look around and survey. Although, who wants to survey yucky green? Yucky um, swamp grass. Yeah. Alright, the grass is spreading nicely. I think we can probably take this part down. Let's get out here. Alright, one moment. I'm back. Uh, the bug was having a little bit of a bad dream. So, mommy is checking out. Alright. Hang on a moment. Okay, I'm back. Everything's fine. Little bug boy was just cold and not in a super happy mood. So we uh, took care of it. Okay, let's go ahead and gather up all this dirt. Yeah, there we go. Now I want to try something here. Please uh, indulge me for a moment. No, 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 no. I wanted to see if I could do a window box, but um, fence is not made for a window box. Okay. Did you know this? If you hop around on grass, well, not on grass, but on farmland. It changes back to dirt. But yeah, I'm doing jumping jacks in the yard, trying to destroy my own property here. Isn't that fun? One of the interesting things about farmland is it doesn't, um, snow does not form on it. Another thing is when Endermen teleport in, they will convert your crop into dirt and cause your whatever you're growing to um, become an item. Yeah. Oh, my wheat and my grass have become an item. And yeah, social circles of plant life. Well, here's another change that I made. Above each of the windows, I had to put some glowstone. I really need to modify this texture pack so this looks like the one in the previous Doku craft. The one that uh, Syndicate uses. Ah, tower that goes all the way up. You can see here I've got a double floor system going. And uh, that double floor, I wonder why that is dirt. Anyway, the double floor um, allows me to put things in the floor, like the carpet, or put things in the ceiling, like you can't see the glowstone, but the glowstone here. It was fun back here. There's actually cobble, not cobble, uh, gravel underneath the glowstone, and that caused issues when it fell on my head because 
gravel, just like sand, falls. It obeys the laws of gravity. So I put windows all along that side here on the first floor. Oh, there, that's what it is. I plan on putting a wall in here. I'm thinking about wood, but that might just seem completely out of uh, out of theme for the room. I mean, we've got the nice brick. I don't want to put in regular brick because that's the fireplace. And uh, hey, look at the picture. We'll take care of that. I don't like it there. Um, oh, it's a. Yep, I forgot those uh, two by two. Anyway, so this will be a wall. These will be doors here. And of course, I'll I'll have to come around, go through the doors, and then come in. And what probably is going to happen is this is going to be up additional one so I can put pressure plates and then the doors so pressure plates and doors open this way I keep sort of like a gate system you have to hit to come in one way but the pressure plates will open up the other so we'll do the same thing here and that actually gives me two more brick stone brick that I can use upstairs because I have a all this I still have to patch. There we go. I am contemplating just putting in glass almost all the way around. Because this right here is pretty cool. I like that. I'd like to be able to look that way and look that way. Because I can already look this way and then look down. Um, this might be an observ observation room of, of sorts. Uh, yeah, I do want it like this because you come up and you enter the observation room. Uh, the next thing, okay, that is three up, is to do the top floor. The top floor is going to be where I'm going to have like a guard station so I can actually look out across everything. And here's the beginnings of the floor of uh, the stairs. So it's a half slab, full block, half slab, full block, all the way around. I could have gone with regular stairs, but I didn't like the look of them, so I went with the half and full, half and full. Of course, you can come over here and look out to you. And uh, I've gone ahead and put glowstone about once every level here so that it provides a nice amount of light all the way down because torches just get in the way. I will eventually come through here and put glass in just like I did on the other side. It's like every four. The castle is just one bit longer. Isn't that fun? Did a little bit of rearranging. I added in another set of stoves here. I'm thinking it might be better to put the stoves on either side of the fireplace since that's where all of it's going anyway. I just don't like dealing with... Oh, that's an empty one, so I'm going to go ahead and chop that up. Well, on that one. And how about we go ahead and uh, take these right here. They're there. So I'm thinking, did I get the coal? Is it like two? Hmm. Thinking if I do this here and over here. It'll look a lot nicer. It'll help keep you on the door. Or like right up against the door there. Probably put the door on the other side. 
and uh, yeah, I think the sink might just be in the way. Even though I like having the unlimited water source, it might be in the way just a little bit. But I like that. I like that a lot right there. Um, I might even do this. Yeah, let's see how that looks. I've got my extra building materials right here. Oh, there's the 64. Gotcha. Let's see. How does this look? Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Almost makes me want to move those in one. See if I can do that without another rack catching it on fire. It doesn't look like it does. So oh yeah, I like that. So it's just a matter of taking this out, taking that out, grabbing up the blocks, and then putting in yeah, we'll go ahead and pop that up as well. There we go. And we'll put 16 in there. 16 in there. 16 there. And 16 there. Let's go ahead and grab a cobble half slab. Or a cobble slab, it's not really a half slab. And cap that. Oh, let's try something. Will that destroy the infinite water source? Let's grab a bucket. Do we have any in here? Oh. Got milk? Yep, it will destroy it. So we'll go ahead and fix it. We'll deal with it like this for now. Oop, there we go. Right there. Whew, that was refreshing. Yep. So let's go ahead and uh, put the empty bucket back. I'll go milk some cows later. Man, went through that many arrows. Well, maybe 10 arrows. There were like three mobs up there. Look at these guys up there. Hmm. All right, well, yep. looks like we've been going all night. <laughs> we'll have to get some sleep. I like the view when I sleep, but by the way, uh, why not go this way? My other option, instead of using the towers, was to set up a, a single staircase going up, and then... Uh, using the towers as observation rooms. Thought that might be kind of nice. But here's the bedroom. Check out the view when I sleep. You can look how you see the running water and the trees. Oh, 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 okay. It's morning already. That's what it feels like in real life, too. Now, I'm going to take you out, and we'll see what it looks like from the, from the bridge. I think, yep, there we go. These halls might be worthless, but I like the ambiance of it all. Yeah, lucky there. Let's go ahead and do some touch ups. This is where I wish I had a, a flamethrower. 
Time for a little touch up. There we go. That looks pretty sweet. And then uh, the top one gets smaller, and then eventually will be a wall crenellation up there, most likely. That'd be the easiest thing to do. So you walk in here and you see the windows and go, oh, there's a glowstone. You look up there, maybe I'll put glowstone right up along there, too. Yeah, I don't know. And then you see that window. Maybe putting windows here in the hall. But then you'd just be looking out at the bridge. Ouch. And then you'd be looking out here. Oh, yeah, I found a... I put these upside down stairs. Right there and there. And right here and here. And it looks like uh, the upside down stair causes it to be brown right there. Blech kind of gross so I'm thinking all around here we put in a hedge maze that might be kind of fun a little pain in the butt to run around through but uh might be kind of fun to do it just to do it there finally got that all filled in So, another option is to also put a gradual staircase kind of looking thing there. I don't know, I need to take a look at what some actual um, castles have done. Like, uh, maybe put in a wooden roof or something here, but that would obstruct the view from the top. Let me fix this while I'm here. Oh, yeah. I heard a chicken poop out an egg. Hooray! Hooray for chickens everywhere. So the animals might be getting a little afraid because I'm not growing anything out there. They might think they're going to starve. Ooh, poor things. My dog seems to be stuck. So let's see if I can push him. There we go. He's not accepting commands. Did he revert to a wolf? Nope, he's a dog. Come on. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, that's a dog that glitched the other day. I don't know what's going on with that at all. Um... So, here we are back at the wall, and I will eventually get this tower completed, completely working, even though it's slightly smaller, well, slightly, <laughs> um, I think it's got a, a good deal going on here. should be like this. Now, I'm correct. That should stop any spiders from getting up here. 
one, two, three, four, five, and there should be that there. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and put these 63 cobble pieces we have, put the lip right here. I'd much rather you stare. Maybe I should, yeah. Let's just use stare instead of the full cobble. Cobble, 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 cobble. But I do need a crenellation right here. I'll get rid of that. All right. I'll put in some stair here, and uh, the problem with this is that glitches like that all the time. Luckily, I can just jump down, back up a little, and say, hey, go upside down. I did it again. And again. Oh yeah, there we go. Go ahead and dig, dig, dig. Come in here and so this is where the new wall is supposed to go. I don't even know if this is three blocks high in here. We don't want to fall down there, do we? This is a stair. It should go a little bit farther. This is the actual... Oh, I didn't put one there. I can drop down here and do it. Ouchie. Why does it do that? There you go. to get some of my block and a creeper bleh, blew up right there. Oh well. Do I have shears? Yep. Saw the sheep and I wanted to go and shear him while I was over here. This is a crevice I went down and did some mining in. Didn't do much. Got some stuff here and here I need to get. You live for today. Why are you being a retard? Pow! Oh, I don't remember this. Must have opened up when that creeper blew up. So yeah, I just wanted to come out here and see what this looked like from this side. It's not looking too angry. Well, I think uh, I need to repair this blotch right here. If we can. There we go. 
Let's get back inside. Yep, this is where zombie was hammering on my wall, telling me to open up or you chew on my face. I'm gonna go upstairs and put some lip on this side. Oh, wrong side. Spiders can get up here. So what we're going to do is just uh, this for now. And just like this. Yep. Why am I using cobble? Should be using dirt so I can know what the heck I was doing. Close up the gaps. Welcome to the old tower. So, go ahead and do that. Zombie. So, welcome. Oh! That door is going to have to go away or move. Because I don't want that to happen. I'll rethink the layout. I'll probably do a, um, a central stair. So we start over here. Should give us a one by one. And I can do the stairs up in a spiral all the way. I have to see if that works. Wow, the pattern over there made me think something just ran by. Oof. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the shed. We've got. Go ahead and make the cows happy. Grab the chicken leg. Oh, what am I doing? Let's go ahead and pull this guy out. From here, does it look like my pig is about to die? Chickens, you've been busy. Okay, so. Place the shears with this. Come over here. One. Two, th three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Now, six cows make three babies. One chicken that's all needing love, and I'm gonna kill him. Okay, so we're gonna take out another chicken. Ooh, what can I get rid of? I don't want to. Let's do this. So we got one, two, three little ones. One, two, three, four. Okay. Got one, two, three, four big ones. And one, two, three little ones. I 
There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six cows. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six chicken. Oh, actually, that all worked it out set pretty well. Sorry, you're staying there. Let's try this. Just in case, no. Nope. Is most definitely a poochie and not a wolf. All right, so I actually like that. I might actually like it better. Do I have coal on me? No. Let's go ahead and cook up that steak. Cook up that chicken. And all I can do is. this I think that might be better look there we go in there. 16, 16, 16, 24. That's the 16. All right. Go ahead and put this other stove. Yeah, right there. 16 in there. Wow, that worked out pretty well. Um, get those eggs up there. Come over here. We're going to put the drumstick in there. Grab that. Grab the steak. This drumstick up in there. I got three pork chops. Uh, gonna keep this food because I like eating steak. Right, right there. Go ahead and put half that up there. Keep this for adventuring purposes. Put these feathers in here. I don't worry about making arrows right now. Let's see here. Mainly construction materials and book materials. Which means a trip to the Obsidian Tower is soon to happen. So now I'm gonna hit. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm glad I did it this way. It's almost daytime. Yeah, semi pointless, but I like it. We'll stop right here in this wonderful view we have behind us. Up, oh, um, see that I'm working on the tower in the back. It's probably going to go a little bit higher than that. Um. I think the garden is looking pretty good, especially with all this wonderful grass growing in now. That looks spiffy. I'm going to fix up the path by putting in gravel to uh, get rid of those two blocks over there, two blocks over here, um, two, two there, four there, all that kind of thing. And uh, hopefully I'll get this looking pretty sweet. Um, 
I may put in some more glowstone out here. I don't know. We'll have to see. And I think you could only spiffy it up, especially when I get the right textures going. And, uh, well, that's it for today. I hope you had a good time. I hope you got some ideas from what I did. And uh, have a good night.